Do you guys know that your environment can actually be destroying your hormones? I'm talking about things like heavy metals, plastics, pesticides, and so much more. It can actually be causing your hormones to be a mess. Well, hello, it's Carla, your online doctor, with today's Live in 5. Today is Tuesday. April 27th and it is a few minutes past 5 p.m. So we started talking the other day about this topic about how your environment is actually impacting your hormones and it is a real thing and it is affecting all of us and there's really no way to avoid it but you can minimize it. So go back and watch um, last Thursday's live if you missed what I talked about but we're going to move on a little bit today and I'm going to give you some action steps things that you can actually do to make things a little bit better okay so one of the first areas affected in the body is the mitochondria mitochondria is your energy producing part of every cell in the body okay so when these um, when the mitochondria is affected obviously your energy goes with it okay so one of the first symptoms people complain of is having low energy or fatigue okay this is a typical symptom of people that are having hormone problems hormone imbalance estrogen dominance perimenopause menopause whatever it may be this is an area that I hear about all the time and people say to me Carla how do you have so much energy there's a lot of different things that I do, but here there's going to be some action steps today. So first of all, you can get tested for these things. You can have hair testing for metals as well as urine testing and stool testing. Um, and unfortunately, most of us are going to test positive for things like lead, aluminum, and mercury. Um, and most of us will test positive for nickel and cadmium as well. Okay, but it's just a matter of how positive, right? How much are we being exposed? All of these affect mitochondrial function and also hormone production. So as we feel more tired, fatigued, or have brain fog, that's another like area of tiredness is when the brain is just tired. What do we do? Okay, so we reach for carbs. Most of the time we reach for sugar, we reach for caffeine, and other things to help us get through the day. Unfortunately, making the long-term effects even worse because you're not treating the problem you're just putting a big fat band-aid over it and giving yourself the energy to get through that day right and you're never going back to fix any of the problems okay so you can have hair mineral analysis um, it's one of the best tests it's non-invasive it's relatively inexpensive people recommend getting this done first then you follow up with a urine test which can pick up mercury if you still have those um, amalgam dental fillings or even gadolinium if you've had IV contrast from MRIs. Um, and then stool testing, which picks up cadmium and silver. Um, they also pick up all the other standard ones, but these are just ones that um, you want to be looking for. Now, blood tests for metals pretty much are not very good. They usually only pick up about four metals that usually detect lead, mercury, arsenic, and cadmium. But the body doesn't allow metals to just float around in the bloodstream. Okay, it sequesters these metals. It, it sequesters them in your fat, it sequesters them in bone and other soft tissues. So your blood test may actually give you a false negative unless you're actively detoxing and these metals are coming out into your blood, which then you want to go into your urine and your stool to get rid of them. Um, if they're staying sequestered, you can be full of heavy metals, for example, and just not know it because your blood test won't reflect. Okay, so some simple things you can do to detox from heavy metals. Um, and first of all, understand that when I talk about this, I'm not talking about doing a cleanse or a detox where you have to, I'm going to do this once a year or twice a year. This is kind of stuff you can do all the time because remember, our exposure is all the time. So we want to be doing this continuously to try and get these things out of your body. So number one, the easiest thing you can do is take minerals. Okay, they help to displace heavy metals and push them out of the body. Okay, so if you have a nice mineral supplement, um, I have one that I take. Um, I'm starting taking it again because it's, um, it's full of minerals. It's just stuff that we need. Obviously, we try to get most of our stuff 
minerals from our diet, but as we talked about, food is very nutrient deficient, even organic food, compared to what it was many years ago. So we need to make sure that we're supplementing. Okay, so things you're looking for, magnesium, selenium, zinc, and trace minerals. Trace minerals are key because we can't just be taking the big guys. We have to be taking all the little ones because they all factor in and have um, place a place in your body's um, function and chemical uh, makeup. Number two, you can take binders. Okay, they act like sponges to soak up these minerals, things like fiber, activated charcoal, bentonite clay, um, and then they help you excrete these heavy metals or chemicals into your urine or your stool. So those are really good and those are things you can do um, on a daily basis. Um, you can um, add them to a smoothie, you can just put them in water, you can take them in capsules, however you want to. Um, number three are natural chelators things that are going to naturally bind to these heavy metals to help pull them out of the body. Things like chlorella, cilantro, um, silicas, other different things like that. So you want to be looking at your supplements to see if you have that included in what you're, what you're currently taking. And then um, just ge general detox protocols, things like um, ionic foot baths or infrared saunas, coffee enemas. I know it doesn't sound pleasant, but people swear by them and say that they actually really, really work. So just food for thought, things to think about because your environment, I guarantee you, is affecting your hormones, even if you don't feel it, and maybe your hormones are still kind of hanging on to a normal level. You know, eventually what we call body burden, eventually you're gonna to get to that point where the body just cannot keep up with sequestering, detoxing, pulling out, doing whatever, and the scales are going to tip in the wrong direction. So start these things today to prevent any problems tomorrow. So hope you're having an awesome day, and I will see you again on Thursday for another Live in 5.